The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says it's safe for students to maintain a distance of three feet instead of six feet now in classrooms. The new guidelines come as we see a push to get kids back in schools full time. CBS 2's Meg Baker has the story. Some students have been out of the classroom for a full year now, many a hybrid of in-person and virtual learning. With updated guidance from the CDC, more students may fit into classrooms, hope for a more normal spring. CDC is also recommending that students be at least three feet apart in classrooms where everyone is wearing a mask and the community level of risk is low, moderate or substantial. Because COVID-19 is spread more likely among older students, CDC recommends that middle and high school students should be at least six feet apart in communities where COVID-19 risk is high. April Mason's kids have yet to meet their teachers in person. The amount of Zoom fatigue that both of them are feeling is real. I have no safety concerns with the three-foot rule. Anna Ferguson's son with special needs is ready for consistency and routine. So important for them to feel safe and for them to be able to concentrate. So why the sudden change from six Six feet down to three feet. Data evolves and knowledge evolves. Dr. Perry Halkidis with Rutgers says children, for the most part, do not become ill or severely ill with COVID, allowing for closer range interaction. Teachers unions we spoke with say they are comfortable with the science, but caution other preventions need to stay in place. School districts will have to really look at uh, changing numbers of cohorts, um, seeing how many students fit in rooms. Uh, bringing back furniture and things that they had taken out before. Adults still need to stay six feet away. Um, making sure your ventilation is adequate, yet your windows are operational. Making sure universal masking, vaccines, testing. There is also a big push nationwide to get teachers vaccinated. Essex County started their program Friday in an effort to restore in-person instruction. In West Orange, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.